Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. And by the way, it's still working in the back. Look at this. Oh wait, there you go. It's still working in the back. It's, I'm telling you, it's extremely simple. And before we start the video, just wanted to say that it's completely free. You don't have to download anything on your iPhone and it doesn't matter what iPhone you're using. It will work with literally any iPhone you have. It's completely free, no need to download anything and it takes one click, literally one click. By the way, before starting the video, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tons of great content coming soon. So let's just dive right into it. Hey, pretty awesome, right? And it takes one click, by the way. Uh, you don't have to download anything on your iPhone. It's completely free and you can play games if you want to. You can scroll Insta if you want to. I mean, it's, com it's awesome. Basically, it's awesome. And it takes one click literally hold on let me show you so basically head over to control center stop mirroring okay i'm just going to show you how it works okay click on screen mirroring and click on tv that's pretty much it literally one click and i'm mirroring my iphone again to my tv no need to download anything everything is just built into your iphone so let's just dive right into it hey what is up everybody i'm riz and welcome to another awesome video all right so as i said before you don't have to download anything on your iphone and in this case you don't have to worry about what iphone you are using it doesn't really matter what iphone you have trust me on this it's completely free it's really simple and all you have to do is just follow my steps and it's gonna be awesome <laughs> all right so the first thing you want to do on your iphone on any iphone is basically head over to your settings page inside the settings go to your wi-fi settings and make sure your iphone is connected to your home wi-fi by the way if you don't have home wi-fi you could always always use your mobile data if you want to in this case i don't have mobile data so i really cannot do that but if you want to use the mobile data you can you have to turn on the mobile hotspot but be careful with the mobile hotspot depending on where you live depending on what data plan you have this might cost you credit so just be careful with the mobile data it might cost you credit so in this case i'll just use my home wi-fi because that's homey it's free you don't have to worry about credits or anything like that so just use your home wi-fi it's highly recommend once your once your iphone is connected to your home wi-fi that's pretty much all you have to do now we have to do the exact same thing onto your tv and let's do this all right, so the first thing you wanna do on your TV, as I said before, we have to do the exact same thing that we did on the iPhone. Now we have to do the exact same thing on your TV. Okay, so now this is basically a Roku Express TV, and if you wanna get one for yourself, links will be in the description box below, but you don't need to have a Roku Express TV in order to do this. Trust me on this, okay? All right, so the first thing you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do is to get over to your settings page. Now inside the settings, head over to your network page, now inside the network page, if you have never done this before, head over to your setup connection, or if you have done this before, you could just click, you could just click on check connection. That would automatically check the connection for you. So I have done this before, but just for the sake of this video, I'll show you how to do it, how to set up a connection if you're doing this for the first time. So just click on setup connection, click on wireless, and it will scan for all the wireless connections available so in this case you could actually connect your tv to your hotspot as well in case you have in, in case you have one so let me show you quickly how you can do that so as you can see right there that is my home wi-fi as i've said before homey it's homey no need to worry about credits or anything like that make sure it's recommended that you use your home wi-fi but if you don't have home wi-fi let's say what you should do now just turn on the hotspot just turn on the hotspot from your iPhone to make sure your TV and your iPhone are both on the same connection or the same hotspot. So let me show, let me sh so quickly let me show you how to do that. All right, so the hotspot is running from my iPhone and it should be available on my TV as well. So let me just scan again and let's wait for it. And there you go. All right, so the first one is gonna be my home Wi-Fi and the second one is actually my hotspot. As you can see, the connection is good. If you wanna use your hotspot, you can. But always remember, it might cost you credit, so just be careful with the hotspot. So in this case, I'll just make sure my TV is connected to my home Wi-Fi. Again, if you wanna use your hotspot, go ahead, don't worry about it. All right, so click on your connection. Click OK, enter the password. I've done this before, as you can see, that is my password right there. Click on connect, and it will automatically connect your TV to your hotspot, to your home Wi-Fi, or whatever you have. So in this case, as you can see right there, my TV is connected to my home Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so then a second step is actually not necessary if you have a high-tech Android TV. In this case, I might have to do that just to show you how it works. So basically, inside the settings, head over to your 
Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Now in this case, I have to manually enable it for the first time, but if you have a decent TV, you don't have to do that. Just make sure your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi and it should be available as is, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So in this case, as you can see, I am not enabling the Apple, Apple HomeKit as of now, but if I go into my screen ring settings, if I go into my screen ring settings on my iPhone, you can actually see that. So let me just go into the control center click on the screen ring and right there as you can see my Roku Express 4k is available even though I have not enabled the Apple AirPlay at the moment so in this case this should work exactly how it's intended so basically the once basically once the TV is running on the Wi-Fi it, it is it is enabling everything at the moment so in this case I'm just gonna click on okay and there you go if you have if you by the way, it might ask you for the code for the first time, so be sure to add the code. Really simple, nothing nothing fancy at all. So once you're in this on this screen, as I've said before, it's really simple. So on your iPhone, go to your uh, go to your control center. Inside the control center, go to your uh, screen mirroring tab and click on your Roku Express or whatever TV you have. In this case, it's really that simple. As I've said before, it takes one click and that's pretty much it it's extremely smooth you can do tons on this you can even use your camera if you want to so let me just uh let me just take a photo of the photo <laughs> let me just open it up and there you go it's pretty pretty simple i mean literally it's so cool pretty awesome right and by the way as i've said before you can listen to music you can use you can watch youtube if you want to you can scroll through insta as well you can throw scroll through insta as well really simple so let me just open by the way the audio will be coming from the tv if you want to switch the audio you can go into your control center click on now playing change it from the dock to your iphone that way the audio will be coming from your iphone and if you don't want that just click on your tv and the audio will come from your tv so it's really simple really awesome and there's no lag you can even play games if you want to so let me just play clash of clans or any other game you want to play it's really HD smooth. There's no cables, as I've said before. So good. Look at this. Oh, my town is... Man, I love my town. <laughs> Pretty simple. So basically, that's it for the video. And if you want to stop this, really, really simple. If you have the iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max, just click on the Dynamic Island. It will ask you to stop it. But if you don't have the Dynamic Island, don't worry about it. Head over to Control Center. Click on the Screen Mirroring tab and click on Stop Mirroring. And that's pretty much it. Voila. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, by the way, before leaving, do let me know in the comment section below why would you want to mirror your iPhone to your TV. So let me know in the, let me know in the comment section below, okay? And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Ooh. All right, so that's it for the video. As I said before, if you enjoy this video, if this video, if you find this video helpful, Leave a like. If you have any questions, do comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I promise to do that. And do subscribe to the channel. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.